Well, with freezing temperatures heading into central Texas next week, concerns grow for those living on the streets. And for some places like Hayes County, more people are finding themselves without shelter. And the number has been growing since 2020. KXA and Sam Stark spoke with Hayes County officials about this month's upcoming point in time count. A complex problem without a simple solution and one that is on the rise, according to this latest count. To find the most effective solution, a community needs data. Point in time count is really meant to capture a snapshot of what homelessness looks like uh, on an assigned given night on that point in time. This will be the fifth count conducted in Hayes County. In 2020, volunteers counted 102 unhoused people. In 2023, there were 180. We have, we have found more people every year. I think it's the reason it's growing everywhere, just because of the, the uncertainty of, of people who are doing livable wages for where they can live and maybe other issues too, maybe more mental, mental health challenges, more physical challenges. Volunteers don't just count people experiencing homelessness in the area. They also have folks take a mobile survey so county officials can better understand what they need to get into stable housing. Homelessness is a very complex issue and it requires very complex uh, systems and coordination together to address these issues. At least getting those data points is a way to start and, and advocate for our community to be able to create a more fluid workflow and also secure more resources to address this issue. In Hayes County, Sam Stark, KXAN News. If you are in Hayes County and would like to participate in the point in time count, the Homelessness Coalition of Hayes County is still looking for some volunteers. So you can find that information by visiting the story at kxan.com. And going in depth right now,